the 2010 African Fine Art Collection was recently launched. The collection is using the FIFA World Cup to provide artists from Africa with a global platform to exhibit, market and sell their works in the lead up and during the World Cup. The idea started, was germinated really by an art poster that was produced in Germany during the World Cup there. They produced an art poster in, sort of in collaboration with the World Cup and it was a commemorative collectible. We looked at that and we thought in South Africa we should just take it to another level. So we approached FIFA and it's the first time that they've given a license of this sort of uh, this nature um, to be associated with an event as big as this. So it's an art license we've bought from FIFA where we've got the rights to sell the originals and we have the rights to produce limited prints um, of each piece or each image. Each image is of course also approved by FIFA. So that's how it came about. The collection will display artwork from 22 African artists. Keith Calder is one of these artists who is taking part in this collection. His bronze sculptures range in price from 110,000 Rand for the 60 centimeter sculptures and 1.8 million Rand for the 3 meter sculptures. Right, one of the artists is Keith Calder, who's a sculptor based in Cape Town. And he looked at the, the sort of dynamics on a, on a football field. And the 11 pieces really, d from set plays to actually uh, positions that players would probably be in at any one point in time while playing a game of soccer. So the one being a captain, the one being a goal goalkeeper, the other one being a slight tackler, and of course, the one being the penalty. So the penalty, each of these sets, there's a set of 60 centimeter of the 11 pieces. There's a set of 80 centimeters of the 11 pieces. And there's also a set of 10 of, uh, there's a set of three meters of the 11 pieces as well. An addition size is 32, 32 of the 80 centimeter, an addition size of 10 on the three meter sculpture. We haven't at this stage done more than two. We've only done the penalty, which is the first time it's going to be unveiled to the public in, in the next few minutes. We had it as the draw at some stage, but that was to a private or select crowd of folk. And today's the first time it'll be open, unveiled to the public. It's called penalty. Um, so it's pretty obvious what it is. It's a guy taking um, a shot at the ball um, on the penalty spot. Um, and it, we selected this one because it uh, just has that kind of latent energy that exists between the still ball and a moving figure. The penalty sculpture is due to be installed at the Nelson Mandela Square during the major sporting event. The World Cup is a great platform to promote the depth of African artistic talent. It's a major opportunity for artists to make a name for themselves. Well, I think only time will really tell, but I mean the potential for um, artists, African artists, South African artists and Af African artists to um, benefit um, and possibly kickstart their careers um, is, is a wonderful thing.